<coughs> Hello everyone This is um, Replacement class For group B MRI 3074 uh, New media So Today I will be talking about The User profiles and User persona Which is um, Quite simple actually But uh, as I said earlier in, in our class, this is quite important. User profile and user persona is quite important. Uh, it is a method or techniques uh, that widely used by many uh, big company, multi-million company, just to ensure, just to make sure that they are take, targeting the right customer. So same goes to you. Uh, it's almost like you are planning to get the right customer for your products. So usually, uh, these techniques and this method was used especially when you try to rebrand some things. You try to rebrand, you try to rewarm something. So basically, you are looking at the uh, problem that occurs, the problem that exists, that exists. Uh, within the system uh, for example if you want to rebrand uh, a restaurant or a cafe uh, a coffee cafe for example so you try to look on uh, what is the problem that that the, that have been uh, that the previous uh, management have faced and you try to overcome that uh, problems and in fact you are giving them uh, another opportunity uh, for them and in fact when talking about new media basically you are proposing a new media to this um, existing system so let's see what is uh, user uh, persona or user profile uh, some call it user profile, some call it user persona. So, what is user persona? Um, so, basically, this is how the user profiles and user persona looks like. Um, as you can see, you have a biography about your user and age, occupation, income, status and locations and uh, what is the needs of your user and what is their problems, what is their frustration while experience the old system um, and um, and so basically, user personas are representations of your apps or website user base segments. Uh, it's also act as a benchmark for design team to work with to create the optimal, as you can see here, the optimal user experience. Although it is fictitious, which is it's a fiction, which is you make it up, the user profiles, you make it up your, your user. But basically, before you come up with this user profile and user persona, basically you have did some research on your user. Uh, basically, you did some uh, research on your user, such as a simple research can be a survey, uh, then or maybe an interview to your user, so that you get an experience on uh, who is your user while you come up with these user profiles and user persona uh, I, I like to I like to stress the importance of these user profiles in user persona which is back then uh, when I was in the industry we, we don't really know we don't really know about these techniques so by right we are designing uh, or rebranding a product that is not desired that is not needs by the user so it's almost like you are wasting time and you are wasting your client money but when you are 
uh, creating and you are making up these user profiles and user persona at least you have uh, 60% 70% uh, confidence on who is your target audience who is your customer who is your user so basically the structure of user persona consists of both fictional name which is your create anyone uh, by a, based on the fictional name a picture of the person to make it real this followed by a short biography along with descriptions of their age gender occupation hobbies like and dislikes which are non fictional I repeat again which is non fictional and but based on real aggregated data so as i said here it was based on the research data which is a survey interview observation sometimes they use a comprehensive uh, research method to get the you know together the, the information about the user uh, or information about the uh, customer um how a user persona works uh, make it easier to remember who you designing for as the user of our the product might not be the user of your own and user persona turn the user into actual person you can get to know and conceptualize remember the word the key word here is you try to conceptualize you try to conceptualize who is your user profile or who is your customer and it is quite important for you to explain to the to the new client to explain to your client especially client who which is a non designer so it's much easier for you to visualize this user profiles who is your user who is your target audience by by doing this user profiles and user persona uh, this is because user persona turns the abstract concept of the user into a person without feeling and emotion so basically your client have a much more clear uh, understanding a clear view on who is their potential target audience who is their existing customer who is their new customer and all that so as you can see here turns the abstract concept of user into a person with thoughts and emotion perhaps you know who you are designing for represent a group of user with similar goals and characteristic whereby you not design something that you know cater for everyone but uh, in the end it's not every group was required or was needed your services or your products you are target to a certain groups and you are really personalized to really try to understand the certain group rather than most or all the groups helps you to get to know user more closely to create better experience so this is the promise of creating user profiles and user persona which is you are try to create a better experience for your customer or your potential customer So when to use user persona? Um, for example, you are designing a new cooking apps, and your main idea is to help people compile a list of healthy recipe during the week. But then, is it you? People generally have varying amounts of time on their hand, money in their pocket, motivation or skill when it comes to cooking. This app should therefore be tailored to its main user base segment. So when why what it was trying to say here is uh, try to get into the right customer uh, when you're designing the apps for cooking app for example it's not everyone uh, was into cooking so it's only target the certain uh, user uh, and uh, it helps you to better uh, understand them and help you to create a better experience for this specific user that is interested in uh, cooking for healthy recipe, for example, uh, when to use user persona uh, to avoid generalization. As I said here, you not design something that uh, for everyone, but 
you try to to get into a scope try to be a specific on who is your potential customer who is your customer uh, just to what generalizations long time ago yes in a, in the old conventional advertising we design something uh, we design for everyone and we hope uh, for the best and we hope everyone like whatever that we design but it turned out that the method is not good uh, in fact there is a possibility that the old method can end by wasting your time and wasting the client money all right and capture the right user which is you are focused on specific user groups otherwise you could lose them all so it is important just to concentrate on one groups of people rather than focus on everyone and you know and you're gonna lose them all if you wrongly doing it and the right moments this is the moment that we we require which is the key moment to create your persona is in the pre-design phase so the importance of uh, creating this user profiles is at the pre-design also known as the pre-production process which is you design when you at the early process at the early concepts at the early sketches not in the middle uh, not at the ends of you designing uh, for example you try to brand a uh, campaign a propaganda campaign for advertising and you did not design this uh, in the middle but it was the same time that you do your conceptual sketches you doing the user profiles and user persona um, as you can see here it said here the survey feature might seem like great idea at start uh, as I said earlier uh, some research will help you to understand uh, who is really your potential customer so how it can help you in terms of designs uh, is help you to adapt design based on research with users so uh, so you do a design research um, with your uh, with your user so basically you are uh, understand more who is your user and what they really require and what they really need uh, give you uh, the second one is give you key user data improving efficiency and saving times and resources uh, in fact it's gonna help you base your user interest on the facts not assumption so this is the most important part which is we did not assume that this is what the user want but when you really study when you do really uh, research on your user and you make it user profile basically you are uh, giving them the real facts you are present to your career the real facts and not just uh, some assumptions and netflix yes netflix is a, is a great example of an organization getting its product right for its user it what the basics and maybe outdated business idea they let's aim to satisfy everyone it doesn't contain every movie and series possible instead include films and series based on research so it's almost like uh the netflix itself was uh, conducting research and use user profiles and user persona uh, to make sure that they have the right target audience so that's why your netflix uh, your netflix compared to your mother uh, compared to your father is different uh, different interests and etc etc as you can read here uh, how user persona have get buy in uh, so have a read all right have a read about it uh, 
how to create user persona uh, so gathering data about your user putting the data together creating creating your user persona uh, before gathering data you should first ask three crucial questions which is who is your ideal user what are the current behavior patterns of my user and what are the goals and pains of my user so the goals of creating user persona is one to achieve long term and short term and how important are these goals in their life how are they currently trying to achieve them so let's move to the how to create a user persona so this is another good example over here you have your the names fiction name of your user persona uh, then you have a little bit of uh, bio about your user profiles and user persona uh, let's say let's say for example uh, you are rebranding a coffee cafe and you try to you try to look on three user profiles uh, even for the first for this first assignment, uh, I require you to come up with three characters of user profiles minimum. Uh, minimum, which is for example, the first one is a uh, college student, the second one is uh, executive, the third one is, uh, the, the, the second one is young executive, the third one is executive. So basically, you have three user profiles. Over here, you have uh, the name of the fiction user profile here is Jill Anderson uh, we can consider she's under the category of um, uh, executive not young executive executive and you create a bit of biography about her for example if you are doing coffee cafe branding so you are saying uh, Jill uh, love to you know love to go travels, uh, hang out with friends, uh, she love to do her, you know, she love to do work, her works at the coffee cafe instead of uh, four corner office. So she was looking for a good coffee cafe that not only produce a good coffee, but plus provide so many, so many other services and uh, plus other good food. So the goal for Jill Anderson here is to have a place where she can here over over here the goals to have a space that she can do her works other than uh, do her works at the office she feel more comfortable to have a coffee cakes or uh, croissant for example and at the same time have the free have the free will to do her works uh, at the cafe and the second thing you can put her goals is to have a space where she can bring in her clients, friends, have a chit chat, have a discussion, not at the normal office space that consider boring, but at the coffee cafe that have a new YB, you know, wipes, new wipes or YB hearts in, in environments and you create the personality of Jane uh, Jill Anderson here which is her personality she was uh, in, uh, introvert to extrovert um, creative person uh, loyal and consider passive to active she was in the middle age 35 uh, regional director the occupations uh, married uh, with one child, uh, so locations uh, Bangsa, Kuala Lumpur, and Central Central, and preferred channel. So, where do you think, and where based on your research, that uh, young executive, uh, no, sorry, in your uh, opinion, the executive uh, like Jill will find out more about your coffee cafe? So, which channel? Is it from internet? Is it from the WhatsApp? Is it from 
friends mouth to mouth is it from the IG is it from the TikTok so you put it here so is it from for internet is, uh, should be Chrome uh, for the mobiles email and traditional ads and also you have you can put a motivation here which is uh, for example Jane was looking for uh, in term of price in term of the coffee price is affordable uh, but she was also looking for comfort space comfort place convenient which is the shop easy to get access to uh, when I'm talking about convenience Meaning is, is it easy in the walking distance? Is it uh, quite not far but can be accessed through walking distance? Can be accessed through train? Can be accessed to public transport, bus? Or is it easier to get a grab to go there? Etc. Etc. And in the end, you put a brand's audit or you put a competitor for who is the competitor of your coffee if your coffee uh, if you try to rebrand your coffee uh, into something that um, authentic coffee uh, then you are competing against uh, uh, Zeus coffee you are competing against uh, uh, six ounce brand coffee uh, coffee cafe for example but if you are branding some a simple coffee but but at the same time uh, supply cakes you are competing against Starbucks you are competing against Mac Cafe etc etc so basically you how you do it your user profile uh, user profile user persona you just simply put user persona are made up characters so you made up the characters based on user data design to help you understand your customer of course as i said earlier it was based on the simple research or comprehensive research that you done uh, then uh, by applying data and analytics uh, you also try to study the user experience uh, customer pain point customer pain point basically what is your customer dislike when she or he go to the coffee cafe usually it's almost like uh, the uh, waiting time is very long uh, instead Jill wants to buy the coffee online but find out it's difficult to buy the coffee online or by the cakes online uh, the environment is not so pleasing uh, so this is the customer pain points and you have a social media as your channel as your channels uh, which is uh, you put as many uh, social media or multi interaction platform as your channel to advertise your coffee cafe uh and site design not too much of writing voice not too much but the most important here again is brand identity so you try to branding the identity of that coffee cafe so that's why you are uh, really get into this user profiles and user persona other than the second uh which is user journey mapping that we just learned uh, last week which is quite the most important and most useful and most strong method which is user journey mapping so what is user persona thinks of user persona as a representative of a broader broader customer groups so basically you can put the uh, personal background for example I'm gonna zoom here let's see if I can zoom it all right uh, personal backgrounds uh, so for example your user profiles uh, first user profile is college student so uh, should be age around what 18 to 20 uh, 23 years old 25 years old and uh, single uh, educations uh, undergraduate 
for example uh, so this is a good example goal and challenge uh, you have a company information for young executive and all that okay i try to zoom out all right So basically, how do you use a user persona? When you are doing research uh, on the products and the user, you and your team encounters and obstacles or need help making a decision based on customer interest. So basically, you are uh, based your research, your user profile based on customer interest. Um, Instead of going through each separate user test and analytic reports, the persona has all of the relevant information in one clear location. So this is another example of your user profiles and user persona. So there are many templates, um, many templates of doing user profiles and user persona. Basically, you can choose one. So this is another template. Uh, buyer persona profiles. So this is the basic this is the basic examples of doing user profiles and user persona um, name could be realistic could be taken from actual customer or could be descriptive handled uh, put a photo to make it more real personal quote and motto uh, sometimes you put a personal quote for example um, let's see if they have a personal quote here now so sometimes you put a personal quote, for example, uh, Ali, uh, Ali personal quote, I love uh, a coffee with a YB environment of a cafe, uh, for example, personal quote. Then biography give a little backstory to make the person relatable, what was their childhood like, uh, how they spend their free times and all that. Demographics, age, say income, location, personality traits such as um, uh, what is their personality? Is it cautious? Are they uh, personal traits? Are one of the most important features of this persona? So and put some motivation as well like personal traits help you to get inside the customer head and understand how they think for example would a customer be more likely to buy a product that improve their career on the personal life so it's their motivations uh, put the goals and processions so keep in mind that personal are who's wholly customized customization you can customize that customize that and the above like uh, starting point here are some additional areas that some companies find useful when building out a persona uh, preferred social media and channels you have the, the daily routine tech skill uh, hobbies and interests education level job responsibilities and uh, duties Okay, have a read through all these to get more information 
about your user profile, send user persona. I'm sure you will find the information useful for you to read in your user profile, send user persona. Okay, remember, uh, this is considered as part of the assignment one, which is uh, what is required in assignment one is your logo branding. It can be a product that's already existed or it can be a new product that you want to branding or you want to rebranding a product uh, which is the product already existed and you want to rebrand the product um, the second one from the first assignment is user profile so user persona which uh, my requirements is three you can do it like five um, user profile, user persona. In fact, you can add uh, single mother, for example. For example, you are, uh, you try to use a user journey mapping for for the morning market. So you are try to, you try to mapping how it was to go and experience a morning market in Tanjung Malin. So basically, you are doing single mother problems when going to the uh, morning market you can add elderly for example what is elderly user profiles what is their needs what is their requirement if they go to the morning market uh, other than college students other than executive and young executive so you can add single mother and you can add elderly as well into your design because uh, elderly have a different perceptions and different perspective in comparison to the college student and young executive. So when you have a warriors of user profiles in your in user persona, so it makes your vision much more clearer on how to design or how, how to branding or rebranding your products. So um, that's it guys for the, the, the simple explanations, a very long and simple explanation about user profiles and user prof persona. Um, if you do it, the sketches, and in fact, if you already, if you re ready want to do it on your laptops, uh, please do so and uh, upload it on the Facebook so everyone can see in fact, I can do as the comment as well on the Facebook when you upload it on the Facebook on your user profiles and user persona. So that's it. Uh, thank you for listening and good night.